What have I gotten myself into? I just wanted to answer some riddles. Will the monster under the bed eat me? Yes, Johnny. Who is the alien? What? The deer? I don't know. Hey guys. So two confessions today. One, I'm losing my voice. It's been great. And two, I had no idea what to film today. Like absolutely zero idea what to film. I am in a drought of ideas and games. So like I normally do when I'm out of ideas, I go on over to Bijou Mike's channel and steal ideas from him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, when I'm out of ideas, I scour the internet. I look over all of my friends on YouTube, people I look up to on YouTube, trending, what have you, and try to come up with something which led me to find this channel that i'm going to be reacting to today that i've seen a couple different channels including recently bijou mike reacting to and that is of course seven second riddles so this is a channel that is owned by five minute crafts which you all know by now and as you can see it is equally filled with super clickbaity titles and vibrant images some of my personal favorites being this first one would you rather 13 hardest choices and you know, we're dropping a phone and a kitten off of a building in the thumbnail. Fantastic. Who is more stupid? Who is poor? Who is married? Who will die first? Yeah, you guys are in for a treat today. And on top of everything, a lot of them promise to improve your brain power, which is something I definitely need. Like this one, 17 tricky questions and riddles to sharpen your brain. 17 mind puzzles, puzzles is spelled wrong, and riddles that'll increase your brain power. It obviously did not work. 12 riddles for a daily brain workout to become smarter. All right, well, we need to become smarter. Does that mean if I do bad on these, I'm stupid probably all right well time to dive into some of these i can't wait to become smarter oh there's some epic music a married couple were tired of their money problems and decided to jump off a skyscraper together what seven second riddles what's happening on three the husband jumped off but the wife did it what is the riddle a few seconds later a shoot opened over his head oh Okay, I guess that's good. Neither of them died, but what is the riddle? Who was the betrayer? Uh, that's the riddle? All right, well, it's definitely the husband because he had to have planned to put a parachute on. He was waiting for his wife to jump and then he was gonna jump and he was gonna be like, see you later, bitch. <laughs> Maybe they both are the betrayer, but he planned to bring the parachute. So if they both jumped, like they were supposed to, it'd just be like, bye ho, and then just like take off. It's gotta be the husband. It's the husband. It was probably her survival instinct that made her freeze, but he obviously planned his betrayal. Okay, this is my first riddle. This is pretty messed up. A newlywed couple was walking over the falls. This just gotta be a nicer one, I hope, right? Please? Could you jump down the falls to prove your love to me? Oh no, what? The guy looked sadly at his wife. What is this? And slowly approached the precipice. What have I gotten myself into? I just wanted to answer some riddles. Turning around, he told her just one word. What did he say? Oh God, what, what? What kind of riddle is this? Goodbye? <laughs> I don't know. Push. What? What? Oh my God. It was late Sunday evening when April was killed. Oh, we're getting into another murder mystery. The police questioned the suspects. Her friend, Claire. Oh, she looks shifty. I came by during the day and saw her working. Her roommate, Melanie. I went to a post office and came back late. Sure you did, Melanie. Sure you did. Or her next door neighbor, Jeremy. I came at 2 p.m. and found her dead. Who is lying? Well, Claire looks very uncomfortable in her stance. I feel like, yeah, Claire. Claire's doing this thing where she's like, you know, when you're uncomfortable, you're whole, you like hold one of your arms up or you like cross your arms. It's Claire! Claire, you dirty murderer! How could you? That's all I need to go on. That's all the evidence I need. Claire's, Claire's it. She's lying. Oh. <laughs> I chose the only person not responsible for killing her. Well, first of all, this was a freaking trick question. Seven second riddles. And secondly, I basically had, I don't even know. Uh, no, not even a one in three chance. I don't know what the fraction would be. I had a very good chance to be picking the right answer and I did not. Does that mean I'm stupid? I don't know. I need to know why. Why? Post offices don't work on Sundays. Oh. If she was out and April was dead, who opened the door to Jeremy? 
Who's lying? We have two kids. She's lying. I'm your wife. What is happening? Yeah, do either of them have a wedding ring on? What is happening? She has a tissue box purse. Does that mean she does this all? I, I mean, I guess the wife is A? Comment. What? They're not gonna tell me the answer? What? I have to look at the comments? Did anybody figure it out? Somebody said A is lying. She has no ring and B never said they were married. I'm, I'm so confused. Nobody really knows the answer. I guess it's A that's lying because she's saying she's the wife, but she has no ring and he has no ring on his finger. But like the redhead could have kids with him, but not be married. This is a messed up channel. It was very hot at San Diego airport that morning. John Sanders, a customs officer, stayed vigilant. Good for you, John Sanders. Checking all passengers arriving from GOA. He was informed that an elusive drug dealer was going to enter the USA. Oh my. Go! John spotted three suspects. Looking super suspicious. Okay, that's what he had in his luggage. Hmm. I don't see any drugs. Ronald. Hmm. What's the... I guess the neck pillow could have drugs. Hmm. So Sean and Carl's luggage both looks very the same. Summary with cell phones. Ronald! Ronald! Why you got a big jacket, Ronald, hmm? Why does everybody else have- Yeah! It was freaking Ronald! Why does he need a fur coat in GOA? Oh, that was it. Okay, I got all riled up. Who is not poor? I was gonna say the guy with the tie, but not- Oh, the watch. Oh, the watch! They zoomed into the watch. The guy in the bottom, yep. That freaking Apple watch. Why you got a Apple watch, hmm? Oh, oh, spotting more fake poor people. Who's pretending to be poor? This one's trickier. Oh, I see keys. Case! The case! Stop pretending to be poor, Carl. Who is not poor? I mean, that lady, they just showed the lady. She's got a really nice necklace on. Sharon, why are you pretending to be poor? Sharon, these are people's lives, okay? Not your hobby, Sharon. Sharon, get out of here. You don't- Get out of here. Why are we trying to spot not poor people? Is this an actual problem? Are there people that like to go and pretend to be poor? Is it like cool and hip and trendy now? I guess the guy who has a bottle in front of him? Comments. Are you kidding me? You're not gonna tell me again? In the evening, John was found in his office. He hung himself with his tie. Oh my god. Seven second riddles. His colleague Alex immediately called the police. Why does- Why does Alex look so happy to be alive? He literally just walked in on his colleague. Dead. It was already Alex. I know it was Alex. Oh, never mind. All of his colleagues look really happy. What have you been doing today? Hmm? I haven't seen John today. I've been very busy and hardly left my office. We went to get lunch together at 1 p.m. We haven't met each other anymore today. <laughs> I'm his assistant. In the morning, I brought him coffee. That's all for today. I didn't know John very well. We work in different departments. Oh, there's lipstick on the glass. There's lipstick on the glass. The assistant did it. Anna, she said that she hadn't seen John that day. Oh, it's the other lady because of her lipstick color. Who is more stupid? Uh, the criminal? Because <laughs> at least the mom and the daughter are in a crosswalk, so the car has to stop. But the car doesn't look like it's stopping. It does okay, which one? Oh no, never mind. I'm stupid. Who is more stupid? Um, me. <laughs> the guy peeing on a park bench? I guess, because then he could also get arrested for indecent exposure, which is really bad. I keep choosing the wrong stupid person. It doesn't give me an explanation, though. Who is more stupid? Um, it's a guy on his phone and ignoring a kid that's drowning. Or a firefighter. So I guess the dad on the phone, because at least we know somebody's dying. But the firefighter with the house on fire in the background, it could be empty. Oh my god, with the comments. I'll never know. We're in school. Two friends, Jack and Paco, had a bet. I can answer any question in the world. Paco accepted the bet and wrote up a test full of impossible questions. After a while, Jake returned the test. He indeed answered all questions. How did Jake win? Does he have a phone nearby? This is- what? He wrote, I don't know for each question. Wow! 
Where is the body? Oh my god, this is like some sort of sick children's like riddle book. It's behind the bush. There's a foot there. Seven second riddles. Why? I love it just goes from one riddle to another. Where is the body? This is a very normal occurrence. You just always have to be on the lookout for where the body is. It's the last stall. No riddles. Oh, back to who's more stupid. The girl with the lipstick because she's driving. The other girl is just a passenger, <laughs> even though she's eating soup that could go everywhere and burn her. What? What? Are you... I mean, this is a little far-fetched. Seven-second riddles. The fork will poke into her throat if she breaks. Okay, fine. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Yep, I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid. Who's more stupid? I don't know. It doesn't matter because whoever I choose is going to be the wrong one. I don't see anything wrong with the first guy. The first guy's not doing anything stupid. Yeah, thank you. Who's more stupid? Both. I mean, I guess the cop. They want me to say the coffee one, probably. Because if he breaks, the coffee's going to spill all over his lap and he's wearing shorts and it'll burn his- Oh my god, I won't find out because it's one of those stupid comment answer ones. Oh god, another dead body! A well-known chef, Mr. Linguini, was stabbed. The police suspect three employees at the restaurant who all look very happy still. Can you find the evidence and identify the killer? Why is the guy, like- fancily throwing stuff from the air into the pot. I don't know. The girl that's holding the knife, because that seems obvious. Oh. Oh, I did not even see that. Oh, we got you. Who is the alien? What? The deer? I don't know. Oh, the kid that ha doesn't have winter gear on in the front. Oh, I got you. I got you. Because I'm smart. I know how to find them aliens. Um, does nobody see the bottom right photo where there's a foot in the bowl that he's missing. No. Seven second riddles, you are messed up. What? Oh my god. Okay. I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Why? I don't know what. Who's the alien? I don't know. What? <laughs> Oh my god. They're trolling me now. Harry asked the girl of his dreams for a date. Would you like to go out tonight? I feel stupider, not smarter. Seven second riddles. If you answer my question, I'll I'll do. I will. He's like, yeah. Which was the first planet to be discovered? Earth? Earth! Oh my god, he's freaking out. He's freaking out. I mean, the first planet to be discovered by us, I guess, is Mars. But technically, because we were already on Earth, Earth would be the first planet to be discovered. Planet Earth. Ah, uh -huh. wow. You couldn't answer that, dude? Who's dead? Oh god. Why are these riddles so messed up? <laughs> Golly gee, don't know who's dead. No idea. I love that she's smiling though. I can't. I never thought answering riddles would be so fun. Mm, who could it be? Who's dead? Not the person with the knife handle sticking out. Nope. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Who's dead? Oh god, there's more? Who's dead? Um, the guy that's just floating in the water and not splashing? Oh, no, wait. The guy with the blood splatter. <laughs> oh, never mind. Who's dead? Uh, there's just, you know, a random foot sticking out there. Oh, comments. The comments, of course. More space alien spotting. It's funny because it looks like such a children's book. And watch, we're going to find, like, some sort of foot or something. Or dead body. I see a spaceship looking toy. No, what? What, Jimmy? How are you doing that? Who is the space alien? The kid on that guy's shoulders looks real suspicious like. Oh, oh! I thought he just loved Shrek a lot. Oh man. Who is the space alien? If you can't find the space alien in the room, then it's probably you. Oh, oh, the lady with four hands. Who's more stupid? What is this mom doing? What is this mom doing? What is, ugh. I mean, she's waiting to cross. It's the dad, I guess. She's waiting to cross every time the cars come. I don't know. Oh, God, never mind. Divers won't have time to break. Great. I keep choosing the wrong stupid answer. Why do I have such problems with these? Because I'm like, both of them are stupid. I don't know. Who's more stupid? The guy with the bear trap because the bus can break? Comments. We'll never know. We're at a restaurant. Did somebody get murdered again? Do we have to find the dead person? Oh, one of the waiters has just punched me in the restroom. Everything went dark, so I didn't see this face. Oh, he said his. So it can't be her. The guy who's hiding his hand behind him because it had blood on it. Yup, got you. Only a left-handed person could give such a hard blow on the right temple. 
What, but why? Why did you punch me? Who do you love more, me or my brother? Uh, you, Shelly. Just, just you, Shelly. We hate your brother. Never compare your children. We love both of you equally. You're both very dear to us. What kind of riddles are these? Will the monster under the bed eat me? Yes, Johnny. Don't laugh at your child's fears. Think of a way to fight them together. Why am I getting parenting advice from Seven Second Riddles? Okay, well, you know, originally I went into this thinking that I'd feel smarter afterwards, but I feel like my brain has melted a tiny bit since starting, and I am now dumber. It said that my brain speed was supposed to increase, and my IQ level was gonna get higher, and that 95% of people failed answering it. And if I could pass it, I'd be a genius. Well, jokes on them. The ones that kept getting me was the who's stupider ones. I can't pick the right person. I also should definitely never be a detective because I just always, I pick the wrong person for murders all the time on no evidence whatsoever. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for seven second riddles. If you want to see me answer some more of these in the future, then make sure to leave a like before you go. And then, of course, comments below. I don't know what to comment, but just comments. You can comment all the answers to the riddles that I never got answers for. There you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos almost every single day and not sounding so raspy. And as always, I will see you guys soon.